top of Shoe Wolf Square. Um, last time I came here was several months ago. Um, I came here and said to you guys, listen, I'm the voice of these streets because I deliver mail. I'm the mailman in the city. One of many, many mailmen in the city. And what, why I say I'm the voice of these streets is because the neighbors, I walk upon neighbors, fun talking to neighbors, talking to me about everything that goes on in the city. And several months back I was here about the crime in the city. But now I'm here because of the taxes. And it's to a point where, you know, I mean, there's elderly in the city that are just barely getting by. There's families in the city that are just barely getting by. Yet this administration wants to raise the taxes again, and people are going to be out of their homes. It's either pay my house or, or put food on my plate. I mean, that's what they're faced with. And it's, I think that's just unacceptable. I mean, if you raise the taxes again, Mayor, honest to God, like, you, you have a revenue, you think you're going to get that revenue by raising taxes, more people will lose their houses, which means less revenue in the city. I'm just saying that doesn't make sense. And if the head of, if the head of this organization, the mayor of this administration, makes 80 grand a year and he's not willing to budge, the taxpayers shouldn't be willing to budge. And that's how we stand. Thank you. It's not fair. And I'm, I'm not knocking you guys for making the money you're making. You guys should be doing this for free. You can put me up there, I'll do it for free. Yes, if I was mayor of this city, 40 grand a year, Easy. I'd take a pay kind of heartbeat. That's not fair, Mayor, to sit there and raise everyone's taxes. Yeah, it's fine for you to make, to raise taxes and say that when he was pumping all that oh, free gas in your car. You can afford $183. I, I, you know what? I could too. I can afford that money too. But there's a lot of people in the city can't. And you raise taxes, they can't afford it. They're going to be out on the streets. It's not it's fair. Time people get pissed and I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just here to say that because... These people in the streets, they don't want to come to council meetings because they feel it falls on deaf ears. Now, I hope I got your attention tonight because this is what they're saying in the streets. They're saying they're going to lose their homes. How are they going to afford this? How are they going to put food on their plate? Feed my family or live in my house? That's what they, they're, they're faced with. It's not fair. You know, it's not fair. Like I said, I can afford it. Most of these people can. And the revenue will go down in the city if you raise the taxes. I'm just saying, if you raise the taxes, more people will lose their houses because of foreclosures and they'll have to sell. Before I leave too, Tony George, I want to I, I want to say thank you for sticking up for these people. For the towing contractors and stuff like that, I applaud you. And I also applaud Bob Koblowski for sticking up. He may be a little off in what he does, but the man knows what he's talking about. Amen. Thank you.